is uh, Jason Thompson, Vice President of Engineering and Product Development at Cloy's Gear and Products. Uh, we're here with a uh, DIY customer for a typical repair on a Ford uh, 543 valve. Uh, this particular truck is a 2004 uh, 54 with 160,000 miles. It has already went through a aftermarket replacement um, on the VVTs, replacing the original uh, Ford VVTs successfully. So we know we have uh, good healthy heads with um, uh, front journals that can maintain oil pressure to the VVTs. Now we're going back in and doing a, re a replacement on the VVT units with Cloy's aftermarket uh, new design uh, VVTs along with a full timing set. Uh, this timing set is uh, at 160,000 miles is showing its, uh, its fatigue. And later in the video, we will show all of the typical uh, issues and uh, challenges of this job. Some things to be noted about a worn system is tensioner extrusion, how far the tensioner piston is extruded from the tensioner housing, indicative of a stretched chain. Also, the engagement between the chain and the sprocket will be loose on a worn system. This can help you decide if you should replace just BBTs or BBTs and an entire system. We now have the Cloy's Improved design VVTs installed along with the Cloy's timing set. This is exemplary of a new system. As you can see, tensioner extrusion, how far the piston is extruded out of the housing, is much less than the old worn set. Also take note, there's much less slack looseness between chain and VVT engagement. This unique Cloy's design includes a tight tolerance, long duration rotor vane tip. This results in a frictionless seal function. The Cloy's unit functions more efficiently with 10% more torque produced and 20% less internal drag than OE at the same oil pressure. This makes for a perfect high mileage repair. All right, all components have been replaced, timing set, VVTs. We're now doing a startup to make sure there's no rattle and no codes thrown.